It is 641 and this week marks the seventh that kids have stayed home from school to take part in remote learning. Can you believe that? It's been seven weeks already. Well, it's going to stay that way for the remainder of the academic school year. Now, Brooke Slyer joins us in the studio with how the Hardin County School District is keeping students fed and on track with their schoolwork. Brooke? Well, Dave, it's a group effort from the district with student aides, staff, teachers, and administration all working together. They help get meals to students and their younger siblings, as well as give out and collect homework by way of bus routes. Now, I got to tag along and see how it happens. Take a look. Ruthie Potts, who's the head cook, arrives to this kitchen Monday through Friday around 5.30 in the morning to start making more than a thousand meals. I have four cooks that are in here with me regularly. Um, we are all here. We've been here every day. The food goes out to students and their younger siblings who are also at home. Altogether, 568 kids are being fed a breakfast and lunch each day. A lot of it's been like sandwiches. We've done pizza. While I was there, it was a cereal bar, banana, and milk for breakfast, and a chicken wrap, salad, and apple slices for lunch. Around 8 in the morning is when student aides, teachers, and administration help to assemble the meals into go containers. They assemble the lunch part of it, and then we, they put it in a box, we put it in a bag. This is the breakfast part of it. Pot says that this is the fifth year for a program offering free breakfast and lunch to all students. Previously, majority of students were on free or reduced meal plans. That coupled with unemployment rates and it being a rural area, the district knew that it had to get a plan in place when remote learning was first announced. We do have a lot of kids here that, you know, we were worried. Um, just say mom and dad are working. Is somebody going to be able to, to make sure that they're fed? As you can see here, each lunch table is designated to a different bus driver. Now on top of the lunch table are bins designated to that same bus driver filled with those freshly packed meals. Each child gets one bag that has both the breakfast and lunch inside. There are 12 bus routes. The one that I went on delivers meals to about 55 children. Debbie Johnsey, contract manager for the district school buses, says delivering the breakfast and lunches keeps the children fed and allows them to see some familiar faces. With the drivers and the teachers, these are people they see every single day, and they're still getting to see these people every single day. Along with meal delivery, these bus routes also act as a way for students to get some of their homework. The teachers will lay out packets, the drivers go, they find their children because they know everybody that's on their routes. This might be the highlight of the day for some children, but it also puts a smile on other faces too. The drivers love it, you know, they're getting to come to work, they're getting to see their kids. You guys ready to go back to school? Yeah. I'm me too. I miss you guys. Now the district will continue this program, so to speak, until the end of this academic year. Now Potts tells me the district previously held a summer meals program, but it had a low turnout. Now they tell families where the closest summer meal site is located to their homes. And now with a check on weather, here's Nick. Yeah, good